Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Uh, we're here... Um, uh, we're here uh, filming from our beautiful hotel in the old town in Ljubljana, Slovenia, uh, where in just a few minutes, we're going to go up to the castle here and uh, where there's a big press conference about a new project or relaunched project called eMonica. Um, about 30,000. It'll be the first real city center project with about 30,000 GLA in uh, retail. Um, a lot of what the city's been looking for is some city center retail. And on the second part of the project, which is the other side of the uh, central station, um, is uh, residential and office. So quite a good, uh, they've got the, the, um, the city mayor coming out, of course, the representatives from OTP, the developer investor. Um, also, the, uh, the minister is coming out to talk a little bit more about the project and see how it goes. So we'll be, um, be very interested to see what's happening with this and a great opportunity for retailers that are either not here yet on the market or really looking for a um, kind of a, um, really looking for a, a place, a flagship store that in the region, this would be the place to uh, potentially the place to open it. Um, so a lot going on here in uh, this week, a little bit uh, Ljubljana. We'll also talk to a few of the, um, the, the experts and, and um, people on the market here that have been here for quite a long time. So it'll be interesting to follow up. We haven't been to Ljubljana in a couple of years since COVID. So it'll be great to see how the, uh, how the cities um, and how the country's actually, uh, what, what's happened over the last couple of years and uh, give you an update. So uh, keep uh, keep in tune, keep tuned in. We'll be here for the next couple of days, and also everything that's going on on the uh, all of Central Eastern Europe. You can see on our website europaproperty.com. We'll take a and having said that, we'll take a little break right now, twenty second break, and we'll be right back with Winston Norman and the news. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Craig Smith, publisher of EuropaProperty.com. Welcome to the fourth annual Europa Property CRE Awards, the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest, Hungary, and covering the surrounding region. After a year of online events, now we are finally able to meet face-to-face -face with, with international, regional, and local commercial real estate professionals. With over 10 countries covered, including Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine, this will be an event not to be missed. Check out our website, CREAwards.net or EuropaProperty.com. So uh, welcome back. And uh, so right now we'll go to Winston and uh, the news from the highlights from EuropaProperty.com. Thank you for all watching the show. Uh, thank you, Winston, for uh, providing the news for us today, and we'll see you all tomorrow morning here again, once again, here in Ljubljana. So enjoy the rest of the day, and we will talk with you soon. Good morning, Monday morning, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. And here are the highlights from the EuropaProperty.com website. And today we'll start in Poland, where uh, Rico Longleaf's fund has acquired BWI's Research and Development Center in Krakow. Uh, the value of the fund's new acquisition is around uh, 27.3 million euros. And um, the acquisition encompasses two environmentally friendly interconnected, interconnected buildings that were built in 2020. Uh, the buildings are completely leased and offer around 11,000 square meters of area. And the sole tenant is the multinational company BWI. Uh, which caters for the car manufacturing industry, and its main clients include BMW, Ford, Porsche, Audi, Ferrari, and Land Rover. And uh, uh, Rico purchased this property from a joint venture of the US investment company Insight Real Estate and the Polish development company Sevenar. The buyer was represented in the transaction by White & Case, TPA, Knight Frank, and Arcadis. Uh, staying in Poland and moving to Warsaw in the office market and uh, Atena, the developer, Atena, has announced that Lakeside, its new development in the Mokotov district of Warsaw, uh, has acquired its first tenant, which is Hewlett-Packard Enterprise. 
and the company is scheduled or the build the company is scheduled to move in in quarter four 2023 and Cushman and Wakeful represented the tenant in the negotiation process. Lakeside will offer 24,000 square meters of gross leasable area on completion and will replace the University Business Center 1, one of two buildings purchased by a tenant in Warsaw's Mokotos district in May 2018. And according to uh, JLL, modern, well-designed, sustainable office buildings are currently in high demand among technical technology companies and Lakeside already boasting Briam pre-certification at the outstanding level and pre-certificate well gold as well is a great example of this. Uh, staying in Poland's office market and Global Worth has announced that it's teamed up with the Żabka Nano, which are Żabka's self-service stores and they will open uh, these self-service stores in office developments around Poland. Uh, the stores have already opened in buildings B and D of the Quattro Business Park in Krakow. And the openings of the Żabkanana stores will be pushed out throughout Poland at a later stage throughout the year. And according to Veronica Mirakuna, she's the asset manager and leasing manager of Global Worth Poland. Innovation is part of Global Worth's DNA, which is why we have partnered with Żabka Future for our entire real estate portfolio in Poland. We are proud that our office buildings are among the first in the country to offer their users such as modern format as self-service Żabka, Żabka Nano stores. And finally for today, and staying with Global Worth, who have appointed Stamatas uh, Sabkas as Chief Financial Officer. Uh, he will take up his appointment on the 1st of May, 2022. Uh, Zapcast has 20 years experience in real estate advisory and investment, and he joined Global Worth in 2013. And that's all the news for today. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show, and don't forget to share it with your friends.